I need you guys to make it loud for Pamela Craig! journalism. I wanted to be a TV newscaster. <laughs> and they said, not with that accent you are. <laughs> so I took some stage addiction classes and I can tone it down when I need to. But everybody has a different opinion about a southern accent, right? Some people think it's cute. Some people think it's sexy. Some people think I have a Confederate flag tramp stamp on my back. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> on my shoulder <laughs> but just when I think those stage addiction classes paid off and I don't sound like Dolly Parton on a bender <laughs> it sneaks back in so my husband's from Baltimore and he has zero southern accent but he can always tell when I've been talking to my family he'll come home and he'll say oh did you talk to your mom today <laughs> I'll be like well yeah how'd you Oh, we talked for a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mom and them are good. But we got him a nine-point buck. And a couple squirrels. Skinned him himself. They're planning to get together and hoping you can come. Even he comes back from Texas saying get and y'all for a little while. Oh, but I love being from the South. Southerners are some of the kindest and most generous people you'll ever meet in your life. And it doesn't matter why you come over to the house, you're gonna leave with a full belly and a casserole in case you get hungry again. <laughs> it's gonna have my name and address taped to the bottom of the dish so you know where to bring it back to. <laughs> and I might talk trash about you behind your back if you don't return it. So I'm sure you bring it back. <laughs> Oh, we have some sayings in the South. We say, might not could. Oh, are you going to help us with the church rummage stay alone Saturday? Mm-mm, I might not could. <laughs> we say, dance with the one that brung you. Oh, he's cute. Girl, you're married. You better dance with the one that brung you. <laughs> My personal favorite, I wish you would. Oh. Oh, I wish you would go out with your friends today instead of getting that skunk out from under the house. <laughs> In the South, we say, bless your heart. <laughs> no, you know. And it can have a lot of different meanings, right? Depending on tone and placement. Oh, your dog died? Bless your heart. Oh, he's so dumb, bless his heart. <laughs> She's such a slut, bless her heart. <laughs> well, she is. She's got a Confederate flag tramp stamp. <laughs> uh, I'm a certified yoga therapist. and People think when you do yoga that you're just zen all the time. But I'm not all love and light. I can go from woo-woo to fuck you before you can say namaste. <laughs> When men find out that you do yoga, they say, oh, you must be really flexible. I say, I am. I can go with the flow. I can change my mind. I can, oh, oh, you mean flexible, Fle like put my foot behind my head flexible? Oh, oh, for sex. With you? No. Bless your heart. <laughs> so fascinated with women who are flexible. Does it help you find the hole or what? <laughs> and why can't men find anything? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Him. <laughs> Him. Oh. Hey, have you seen the whatever it is he's looking for? Me. Well, did you look in that place where it always is? <laughs> but he can find the bar the golf course and the casino, just fine. <laughs> My husband's Asian and uh, he's younger than me, a lot younger, like a whole other adult younger. <laughs> yeah, 
So we, we get a lot of crazy looks when we go out together. People don't know if he's my driver, my karate teacher, my adopted son. Add my grown daughter to the mix. They don't know what this is or who's with who. One time my daughter and I went with him and his whole family to get pictures made. Yeah. Yeah, it looks exactly like what you're thinking. Two random white chicks snuck into the Asian family photo session at the JCPenney Portrait Studio. <laughs> but uh, I've never been with a man this much younger than me before. I didn't set out to be a cougar. <laughs> I'm allergic to cats. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah, but there are perks to being with an older woman, guys. So <laughs> she, she knows what she wants, and, uh, and she's done with all the drama. You're not gonna accidentally knock her up. <laughs> and those senior discounts come in pretty handy in this economy. <laughs> He calls me his old lady. I call him my good boy. But enough about our sex life. No, but when we dated, we had sex all the time. But after 10 years of marriage, put it on the calendar, you know? But every now and then he'll say, oh, Let's be spontaneous and do it without an appointment. <laughs> Bless his heart. <laughs> As we like to say in the South, well, that's enough of that. I'm Pamela Crane. Sure appreciate y'all. Yeah.